Now we got it. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to have a little bit of jumping around um, next few episodes, like I said in the last video. But diving into the 7320 today because I got some ideas. We saw something. And after that, right into the 7520. So lots of projects, lots of things to do. I figured I'd keep you guys up to date on what's going on on the farm. So... Hope you guys enjoy, like, subscribe, but right into the action. Here you go. Figuring it out. The little connectors in here, one of them was pulled out. Francisco soldered both of these wires. We're gonna heat shrink them on. I know we gotta run wires all the way back, but we gotta run them underneath, around, up through here and into there. And guess what? Our dealer, deer dealer only gave me, I got no connectors, right? Yeah, we got no connectors, even though we ordered them, and what else was it? We need the electrical connector, because we think it's a little strip, so. And the plugs that go around it, so we reused one of them, so. Hopefully this will get us, so we can run this in grass, do an oil change. What else? We got something else to do on this. We should power probe and figure out why all the lights don't work. That might be something to do. And then this can get washed and then it will be ready to go for grass. Figured it out. We've been battling this. These side lights, the front lights and things like that. So one of the relays was bad. I found a spare to throw in there. But now I got all the lights working. We got this all soldered up looking good. We'll put some loom over it. What else we got to do? I gotta change the connectors on the AC, so let me jump into that. These 20 series are absolutely wiring nightmares compared to like the 30 series that they came out with, but we got this figured out. So as you see, this is the back of the wiring panel. This is the AC relay, which is not looking healthy. Fire hazard, and it shuts off when you wiggle it wrong. So we gotta do, we gotta do that, because I'm not, I don't want to burn a tractor up plus I like AC but we'll get some new ends for that and uh, we'll make sure they're like the good ends so that goes there um, clearly it melted at one point probably from running too much and somebody flipped it over the back some of this stuff is from before I really messed around with it this tractors you see it needs a little panel and stuff like that and the back panels Farm tractors usually get beat on pretty bad, but what I was struggling with, let me get this panel right out of my way. What I was struggling with was I could put power to this one, these two, or these three, and my fenders would work. That would work. The fenders and the side front lights and the high beams, low beams, I think now work, which I never had that. All this stuff started happening like two years ago and we've just been running it because I dread wiring. I, it's one thing I really don't enjoy doing. I'm learning. But one of these relays was bad and I found one that was a spare that had got a little warm. As you see, oh, there's a rock between that. It's a little warm right there. So what I gotta do is have them, we gotta get, oh, wow, that is hot. Wow. Yeah, that is hot. I don't know why it's so hot. Probably because it's been failing. Whew. So we'll get some of those. Oh, made in China. There we go. Oh. Yeah, 3303s. I'll run through. I'll change all of them because I don't want to have that headache. Then we'll put this back together. So I've got to do that and that. And then this tractor's going to get washed. It got an oil change. We'll put a sticker in the window for the oil change. And then this will be good. This will go run the rake. Um, the 4230, the injection pump is off of it now. It's going to go to the diesel shop. They're going to see how they feel about it. I do got to do compression on it. But I really think it's at the point it would be best if you don't even bother with compression. Go right to doing pistons because it hates starting in the winter. 
it absolutely hates starting in the winter. So, yeah, all part of it. Temperature right now, 93 feels like 105. Yeah, that's pretty nice. 56 uh, humidity. But, 73.20. I am absolutely thrilled that we figured it out. Um, when I started rewiring those wires, and that's where I couldn't find a problem with the wires, but it was a little connector that went in, was starting to pull out, um, and we had fixed, we had done that like four years ago. Frank had hooked me up with a, uh, doing the ends, but the wire just had fallen apart or whatnot, and it was coming out. So we do got to get a new terminal actual connector. I had ordered one, never showed up. Same with the pins that went in it. And so I got other six of one pins and one connector and things like that so I don't even know what to do with that but we did that fixed the AC relay connection figured out why not all the floodlights work all the time or the high beams did an oil change cleaned up some things they're actually gonna pressure wash it fix the stack so it doesn't rattle around it should go up the side post yeah some point that's gonna need some rear tires we put fronts on it last year but back to work she goes I love it that it's been these little simple things lately um, because the spring battled me so freaking much and yeah money 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 because that pump yeah what, three grand for the pump 18 something for the ECU that runs it so if it was that but we soldered those wires in and away we went um, I guess I better get on to working on some of my stuff as you see the 7520 still there that pump just went to the diesel shop um, yeah a lot of people ask me a lot of different things on it I don't know if it's actually the pump but Colburn pointed out when we were dynoing that two injection lines coming out of the pump were like pulsing weirdly so um, timing we haven't screwed with the timing other than advancing it a little bit right on the pump but otherwise it's got a notch that keeps that pin in and we've never had that gear out of it so it's it's never changed time um but all right i gotta uh, we gotta get a I, I grease line for the actual 7520 um deer cannot nobody can get this grease line so I'm gonna go see if the hydraulic guys can actually make it for me. But I got up one that's good on the parts transmission or parts cab out back. So we'll go pop that one off. And then, um, yeah, we'll run over JPM, see if they can make it. Ended up cutting the old one off to get it out. New one, got a swivel. That is slick, so we're out here, JPM hydraulic, yeah making it happen on to the next stop spare parts hopefully not it's out we're gonna see if we can get it in there i think this is gonna be a lot more of a struggle but we'll see pick it up curl it back a little bit just don't want to no curl it back yep We'll go see, especially being on uneven ground.
Now we got it. We're dying out here, but we got it. So what we were struggling with was when we picked this up, yeah, this isn't the best way to pick it up. I know, I absolutely agree. But when we picked it up, um, it was crooked. Ooh, am I killing this? Yeah, I might be. Um, so when it came in, it was cockeyed like this. Or no, it was like that. So, and it's hot. It feels like it's 107. It's brutal. So we're out here. I appreciate the guys giving me a hand with this. We're out here. Put chain binders on it. And that actually turned everything. And once we got everything turned and we got some bolts started, then we heard it slip through the first clutch. And then it went through the second. And now it's sitting in there. So... We should be in an actually pretty good boat. I'll finish up with these bolts, take the chains off, and then, like I said, I'm gonna, we're gonna pressure wash everything. So I'll bring the pressure washer out front, including all in here, get that all cleaned up. But I have a feeling once I get this done, my motivation is gonna be zero and I'm gonna go home, but we will see. Definitely, this is definitely not for the faint of heart doing stuff like this, especially on a, it's the hottest day we've got, but it is supposed to start raining. So I wanted this out of the shop because then I can work on my motor in the shop if it rains and this will be out and I'll have a better peace of mind. Someday I'll have a splitting stand and probably someday I'll, uh, Okay, I didn't go. And someday I'll probably buy more 7520s. But today is not that day. So, make and do what we got with what I got. There you have it. Back to having two pieces instead of three. Pop these chains off. Clean up my mess. Yeah. It's friggin' warm. So I hope you guys are all staying cool through this. Yanko, why are you laying in the oil? That's that's oil. Come on. Oh, dude, you're gonna be. Come on, out. Oh, I got a big mess in here. With that being said, 7520 has the motor attached. I got some more things to do. I got a pressure wash, um, some hydraulic lines. We're gaining on it. Definitely gaining. Hopefully, I can have it done this weekend. Um, when this video comes out, it will actually be Friday the second. So. I hope everybody's gearing up for a good 4th of, 4th of July weekend. Everybody be safe. Um, enjoy it. So live it up. I really appreciate everybody watching, liking, subscribing. But I'm going to keep the content rolling out. We got so much stuff to do. Hopefully get it back into some action. Um, chopping second and stuff like that. Still got a road trip. So working on the Duramax, that's a priority too. But have a good one.